Ian Duncan Smith was desperate to show that he's on the same page as George Osborne. Talk sort of about the next round of cuts now and whether universal credit can work. They gave out this card at the end of the speech, and this is a real message for, for Ian Duncan Smith. He's got to make it work, and he knows it was a quiet man turning up the volume on all of his reforms. Labour left us a massive and growing army of those who do not work, simply do not have a job to do on any day of the week. Five million people. Five million people plus on out-of-work benefits after the recession. One million of them for a decade or more throughout the whole of Labour's time, pretty much. One in every five households in the UK with no one working. Just think about that for a second. In Britain, left to us by Labour, almost two million children were living in workless households. Next up is Boris Johnson, Mayor of London. And his speech will always be really about what he doesn't say. It will be very entertaining, it will be the speech of the conference, it will be about the Olympics. But the undercurrent will be a textual analysis of whether he wants to be Prime Minister, succeed David Cameron as leader of the party, or be an MP. All these questions will be looking for answers when he speaks.